welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Exclusive. As we get back to Nobu for 2023 presidency after loss at PDP primaries. Following his defeat at the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential primaries, River State Governor Iyasom Wiki has resolved to throw his weight behind the presidential ambition of former Lagos State Governor Bola Tunumbu. Politics Nigeria can authoritatively report. Wiki, who in March 2nd in the race to clinch the party's ticket, lost to former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who polled 371 votes against the River Governor's 237 on Saturday. Also, former Senate President Bukola Saraki came third after he garnered votes of 70 delegates, while Governor Udom trade behind him with 38 votes. Pundits believe the weakest loss at the poll was a result of the last-minute alliance between Aminu Tambua, the Sokoto State Governor, and Abubakar, the former declared support for the letter at the 11th hour. But Wiki, according to multiple sources familiar with internal workings, will not be supporting PDP as expected. Rather, he will be supporting Tunumbu, a presidential hopeful who stands a chance to clinch the ticket under the All Progressive Congress APC. Sources attributed to this outcome of the Saturday election, noting that the River State Governor is at war with fellow South South governors, whom he believes contributed to his defeat. The River State Governor had said on Monday, as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing to worry about. I contested that election based on the agreement with all the Southern governors and the leaders of the South that the presidency should go to the South. We have done our own part. We never betrayed anybody because it's not in our blood to betray. But it's a shame to those people. Some governors from the South, who are the people they used to sabotage our victory. But however, we have shown them that we are not like them. The River State Governor stated this on Monday. Another source explained that prior to Saturday, there is an unwritten agreement between Tunumbu and Wiki, which states that the latter will support the former should he lose. In the primaries, according to the source, Wiki, like some governors, will have a clandestine agreement with the APC leaders, as promised to deliver South South, which is a stronghold to Tunumbu. Also, Tunumbu's agreement with Wiki is to enable him to cause problems for Rotimi Amechi, one of his contenders in the APC presidential primaries. This is evidenced by Wiki's subliminal support for Senator Magnus Abbey, who is an opponent to Amechi and currently battling him for the structure of the APC in River State. Well, it should be noted that Amechi, who is currently the Minister of Transportation, is an arch rival of Wiki. Some big wigs in the People's Democratic Party have already got a hold of Wiki's move and have commenced with solution talks. Part of this was the visit of Abubakar at Wiki's residence on Monday. While well, it has been brought to our notice that Wiki um, is going to back to Numbu for the 2023 presidential election after his loss, we all know that Tunumbu is one of the big names in APC. He is the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, the former governor of Lagos State, and also one of the presidential aspirants for this for the coming election. And is now in the bidding to win the, um, the presidential ticket for the APC. We are looking forward to the APC primaries and will emerge as who is going to clinch the presidential ticket and emerge as the presidential aspirant for APC, the presidential candidate. And Tunubu is one person that um, he has a strong hold in APC. He has been the national leader. He was one of the people that helped build APC. So he has a strong hold on APC. And people are looking forward to who eventually is going to emerge as the the presidential candidates at the primaries. We know we have Tunumbu, we have Oshibanjo, we have Rotima Amechi and the likes of them. And Yosom Wiki, the River State Governor, um, lost um, at the presidential primaries for the PDP. Atiku emerged as the winner. And now they are saying that Wiki is set to back 
Tunumbu, and that both of them had made an agreement that if eventually one loses at the primaries, that the other one will back up the other. So now, Rike is giving his votes to to Tunumbu. He wants the South to vote for Tunumbu. Rike noted that the South, uh, the South South governors were all meant to vote for for him. But he does not know what happened and why they went back on their words. So now, he has decided to lend his hand to Tunumbu because they have both made an agreement to make sure that at the end of the day, one person will back the other person, if at all, they lose at the primaries. And a lot of people are yet to see how it's going to play out. Well, we all got um, all tongues wagging and Nigerians are really talking about what is going on. When election is very close by, we see a lot of opinions from people, we see a lot of things playing out, people playing um, politics. Politics is, is a game. So you see people playing um, politics, how to get this, how to get that, buying favors from people, visiting several states and delegates. And this is what um, Tunumba has been doing. He has visited a lot of states to go and buy favors from these delegates to plead with them to vote for him in, in the primaries. And this is what most of these presidential aspirants do to make sure that the delegates eventually pick them. And we can see that Atuku has eventually emerged as the presidential candidate for PDP. Um, at first, we were expecting Peter O.B. To, to emerge as the, as the presidential candidate because we saw the popularity, we saw the youth shouting for Peter O.B. And before we knew it, Peter O.B. had um, defected to Labour Party, which was um, such a fast move. People did not expect that to happen. But um, he just felt that instead of waiting for it to be defeated by Tiko, he decided to defect to a party. And we hope to see how he moves on from there. Well, Akin Soji Akin Sola said, but his men betrayed him. He said it himself. Even the party he swear to stabilize when Atiku abandoned it, betrayed him at the eleventh hour. When they saw he was almost clinching the ticket, if he decides to support Tunubu, he does well and still maintains his words of supporting a southern candidate. Well, um, according to Akin Soju Akin Sola, what he did was the right thing because they betrayed him regardless. He, he stabilized this um, PDP went without Atiku and now they betrayed him by giving another candidate that ticket. So you can see that um, some certain kind of betrayal was done um, on the side of Wiki. They betrayed him because normally they had agreed that they wanted the Southern president. So they betrayed him by changing their minds at the 11th hour. Which did not, um, uh, which was not really um, a good thing to do after you have agreed to make sure that a southern pres president emerges this time. Well, another person has spoken, Suj, he said, So, we are saying that Wiki should still support Atiku is a fool. That means if you are from the south, that you still want northerners to continue to be in power. So people have said that uh, Wiki is doing the right thing because they are tired of northerners being in power. We all know that President Mahmoud Buhari is from the north. So people want a change of things. They want a southern president to emerge. Let, they, let us have a rotation. That is what people are planning on doing this time. And you can see that people are saying that Wiki is doing the right thing. That anybody that says he should support Atikul after everything that happened is definitely a fool. Well, we are looking forward to the APC primaries to see who is eventually going to emerge as the presidential candidate for APC.